Hi guys, this is Jenna Apgar, um, CEO of Warfare Marketing and co-founder of Business Growth Network. And I had a question from a fellow digital marketer certified partner, um, Brian Plum, who um, wanted to know my opinion on Meet Leonard, um, the newest app sumo. Um, what would you call it? Uh, <laughs> these lifetime licenses they do that are always um, pretty outstanding. Um, so I wanted to give a quick oh here we go, a quick overview um, of what I thought of the program. And so to do this um, for anybody who's looking at purchasing it, I'm actually just going to actually walk through the process. So you're going to see me get my AppSumo code um, and download it so you can tell exactly how easy or difficult it is and if you'd be able to do it. Um, and if you don't know how to do it, you'll actually have something to watch and then see if I can start applying it to my own account immediately. Um, and in the description, and I guess I'll put this on a blog post too, um, I'll let you know how it was going forward because the we've already been doing a lot of um, LinkedIn outreach. Um, so this will be good to complement what we are already doing. So let's go over here. So this is uh, Meet Leonard, the king of LinkedIn. So there's a couple of different programs that do something similar. A friend of mine actually bought one that is a one-time, I'm sorry, not one-time, it's a $1,500 license per year. Um, and as you can see, the AppSumo deal is only $49 um, from $995. The other one that there's another option out there that's $15 a month, but again, um, you know, 30 plus 34 months and you've already paid more than the AppSumo deal. So if this one works, I'm going to be really excited. And um, I know you can stack up to two, I believe. Um, I'll get down to that in a minute. Um, but I know one, and we were debating whether two would be worth it um, based on, you know, some of the things that it gives you. Um, and if I would want to buy separate ones for any of my sales team. So I'll read off a little bit, become a professional networking machine with Leonard. Um, LinkedIn gets treated like a redheaded stepchild. Eh, yeah, yeah, we all love Facebook. Here especially. Um, but none of these growth apps focus on LinkedIn, which is strange because that's where all the people with jobs and money are. And LinkedIn is, um, especially if you're in the B2B space, this is a great concept and we'll, we'll go through it and we'll see if it'll work. Currently, if you want to expand or engage LinkedIn, you have to spend hours doing it manually. This I know. Um, we do this not just for ourselves, but for clients in the B2B space, and it can be so incredibly time consuming. So if this works, this might actually be one of those things that we buy several for clients as well, um, both present and future. Easy to use sales, marketing, and growth automation bot for LinkedIn. For those of you familiar with the uh, messenger bots on Facebook, they are doing outstanding. Um, grow your network on LinkedIn using a mean, combing through connections and sending countless invitations. You can now automatically send personalized invitations requests in minutes. Now, this is the key to open rates and getting people to believe that you are not the bot, right? So while anybody who's over here who's a marketer, you might understand bots. Um, the rest of the population does not necessarily understand bots. The ability to customize something like their name is a great one, or if you can put their profession in, that would be outstanding. So I'm interested in getting in here and seeing what aspects um, can actually be personalized. Um, that, to me, is where the real value will lie. Um, send bulk message, personalized messages to your first connections. And messages that can be customized on the spot or pulled from a template automatically view people's profiles. Um, this is one of those where um, they're one of the few that if you see someone's profile, that person gets to know that you've seen them. And for some people, they will just automatically connect. They'll say like, oh, so-and-so is looking at me, connect, or they'll come look at you. And um, if your LinkedIn account is optimized, right, um, then you'll catch their attention. And so that, that, that tiny little first touch um, the advanced AI allows for it to learn LinkedIn behavior so that it can perform tasks exactly like you would naturally without breaks. This part I like, but what I've not seen is if it will send the customized message when you friend someone. Like we've been um, connecting with lots of people, profile visits, auto tag profiles, that's cool. Um, auto invites, what is that one? Right now, Leonard users. automatically grow with tasks with a little stack two codes. So this is where I was telling you, you can stack two codes um, with two plans. 
Um, 500 a day auto profile visits compared to 400, so you're only increasing by 100. 500 day auto tag profiles to target specific groups, 400 on the other ones, so you're only getting 100 more. 200 a day auto invites, that's double. I think that's probably where the big one is because right now that we were trying to do 100 a day and it's, it takes at least an hour, and that's if you go fast, especially if you're customizing the message. Um, 500 day personalized bulk messages. Now, first um, degree connections, like people who you're already connected in. I think I'm up to 5,000 people, but obviously I don't want to target all those. So if I had um, a customized, um, you know, build a marketing strategy for um, martial arts studios, that would be something specific and you could narrow it down or fitness studios. For one, you get 300 a day personalized to bulk messages, and that's 500 a day. So I don't see a lot, a big deal here unless you're really um, attacking LinkedIn um, and looking to dominate it. Manual, okay, you still have to do manual work like having safe settings to avoid upsetting the LinkedIn, um, their terms of service, posting valuable content and personal interaction. So this is a big one. So a friend of mine, David Cohan, and I both discussed this. This is the guy I told you he paid $1,500 for one year license. And we were talking, if you could take everything that we do, like with Ryan Dice's The Machine and with things that we know about marketing, and we could apply them inside of LinkedIn, that that would be golden because people are not doing that in LinkedIn and it has the potential to do that, much like we've seen um, with the messenger bots for Facebook. And I have that one too, and it's underutilized. I should work on that. Um, let's get some great tacos. A CRM dashboard, that kind of makes me happy. That makes me a lot happy. Well connected on LinkedIn. And a webinar to get started. So we're gonna go open this in a new tab just so I remember to get that webinar. Okay, so I already bought it. Um, and we're going to go to account and we're gonna get this thing started. Two days, so we'll go ahead and get here. So I'll get to see my junk email. We're gonna get registered now that before I forget. So this way you actually get to see how complicated this is going to be. Okay, so we're set in there. You can see here I'm a little bit of an AppSumo junkie. All right, me Leonard. Lifetime access. I'm going to copy the code given. Redemption URL. Notice I didn't read the directions. Not endorsed by LinkedIn. Logos, trademarks. Ability to send emails at no cost to first connection or open link profiles. Okay. I actually don't see. Like, am I missing something? So we are actually Chrome. We need to be on Chrome. Let's see. Copy link. We're going to go over to our Chrome browser. Get our... So I talked to a coder about building one of these ourselves, and they did say it's pretty much a Chrome thing. Click here to install Leonard on your Chrome browser. Absolutely. The add extension. Almost done. Click the Leonard browser button above to create your free account and log on. Please open LinkedIn to use Leonard. I keep on thinking of Leonard from Big Bang Theory. So here's Leonard. Sign in with LinkedIn. Auto visit profiles from search results. All right, we're gonna start there because we are working with one of our sales teams on something specific. All your filters are now on one page. Okay, doing visits. Commercial. Hmm. Tags.
I need to make tags. So this is where you get to see what I'm doing and how bad I'm failing. Let's go back over here. Oops, where did my... There we go. Click on register your account, go again, insert the above code. Okay, so um, I feel like I'm on my own a little bit here. Benefits of reviews for tutorials. How to view profiles using Sales Navigator. Message, no, message feature. How to connect using Sales Navigator. Fleek! That was another AppSumo deal. How to automatically send hundreds of personalized connection requests using Sales Navigator. First, I like go to the search bar at better. the top of your page, and then type the job title or company name you are looking for. Next, use the filters provided to narrow down your search. Don't forget, LinkedIn only allows you to view a maximum of 1,000 profiles per search, so use the filters to ensure your final results only display less than 1,000 records. Next, when you are happy with the search results, simply click the connect button to get started. Now it's time to choose how many profiles you wish to connect within the session. Depending on your subscription, you will have different daily limits to choose from. You can change the number of profiles to connect with by using the slider. By clicking on the arrows up and down, or by double clicking on the number and typing in how many profiles you wish to connect with. You now need to select what connection invitation message you want to send. You have the option to choose from pre-added templates or custom messages. Please note that templates need to be added in the CRM before being able to use them here. I will show you how to do that in another video. When adding custom messages, you can type directly in the box. Please note, that you have a maximum of 300 characters when sending invitations. To personalize the message, simply type in or click on the special code. When I send the connection request for you, I will replace the recipient's actual name wherever you place the code. Next, you need to choose the welcome message the recipient will receive once they accept your connection request. It's important to note that welcome messages can be sent in two different ways, manually or automatically. I will show you how to do this in a different video, but for the time being, make sure you add a welcome message to every connection request session. Similar to the connection invitation message, you... All right, let's... I wish they would have used a human for the tutorials. I'm not digging the electronic um, voice, to be honest, which is funny because I just told my son he couldn't watch a YouTube video that was similar. So I've done a manual search the way I normally would for um, a group of people that we are currently um, working with right now at Warfare Marketing. Um, now I'm at a bit at a loss, so we'll try visit, add tags. We'll just say start. I'm hoping it's talking about what I've got already. Well, let's go ahead and do connect. So this is um, exactly the people that we're trying to connect with. Select invitation message. I get to put it in there. Choose new connection, welcome. Okay. Welcome message, auto follow up, today. delay. We're going to do one day, add tags. Um, commercial real estate broker owners. Do I have to do them in a different? I'm not getting anywhere to do that. So, campaign. Let me try a new window. I feel really dumb working in here, but this is the first time I've used something like this. Busy Connect Post Message Email Campaign CRM Upgraded CRM. Okay, well, that's doing that. Connect post message campaign. Campaign could be cool. 
let's go ahead and do this while we're here. Account automatically withdraw connection request. Auto reply with follow up message and second connections. Okay. Oop, tags. Boom. Uh, da -da. Search plans. Add. Tag name. Commercial real estate broker owners. Oops. Did we add it? Oh, I didn't hit save. Commercial real estate broker owners. Save. All right, let's start with that one. And then we're going to go over here. Billing details. Let me say billing, maybe? Lots of new tabs here. Um, mm -hmm. No idea what I'm doing here. Billing, receipts, my details, settings, tutorials, support. Settings. Go to, oh, here we go. I think I still need to do it in Chrome. Still need to do it in Chrome. So let's try this again in Chrome. There we go. And we'll come back and get our code. And there's a different sequence if you're stacking. Sip it. Yay! So we have finally figured out how to get, I don't even know what that is. Did it start doing something? Let's see, that wasn't it. We were here, and it's over here. What is that? What did it do? Connections? Show selected message, add tags to select. Okay. Add tags, commercial, real estate, let's refresh, so I can remember how to refresh and come. Lots of windows. All right, so I've still got my list here, just over 1,100, and I would like to connect with those I have not connected with already. One day. Yep, there we go. There's our tag. Yay! Like tags, like finding people. Connect to premium profiles only. Download to CSV. You know, I kind of want to download to the CSV as well. I'm scared to hit send. Do I have select invitation? You know what? I don't. Yay. Okay, we're getting better at this. Let's see. I'm going to go over to my text messages. Let's go to Paula. I know I sent her a message we were talking. Here we go. And of course it's not on my computer. Oh, you know what? Because I have this on. Let's try that. Yay. Here we go. We're going to try this one that we use that we found to be really successful. So we actually are linking um, in the note that we're sending to people. We're letting them know that we've written an article um, that it's value added. So Warfare Marketing, it's all value first. And I'll go ahead and open this up real quick so I can remember the title. Um, and I'm actually using a tracking bit.ly link A to make it shorter and so that I know who it's coming from because um, we have one sales agent who's specifically working on this group of people. And so we have it coming to social media strategy specific to commercial real estate brokers. Gotta love the acts. My um, design team has jokes. Um, but this is a, a fairly long 
article, as you can see, there's not any sales. We don't even have any offers whatsoever at this point. And we were just asking what they thought of the article. And um, there's Miss Paula. And we were thinking about um, putting some quote boxes in some from some of the commercial real estate brokers in town, um, especially the ones that have a reputation already, and letting them be part of it so they'll share it. So it's part of our strategy, um, value first, just gaining awareness. So that's the point in the LinkedIn that we're actually using this product is strictly in the awareness stage. So let's go back over here. So that's what this little bit.ly link is for, and we wanted to stay under 300 words. So right here, this is where I want to use the custom, and it looks like it's just like Active Campaign. So first name, and then we're going to do this again. I'm Jenna, and looking to partner with real estate professionals and loved your LinkedIn profile. You've built quite the career. I recently wrote an article about using social media. We, let's say we. I wrote this for Paula to write. We recently wrote an article about using social media for the CRE industry and was wondering if you could share your thoughts. All right, cool. Select a follow-up message. Custom as well. Thank you so much for connecting. What did you think of the article? So here is where... I'm going to ask them a question to try to engage. Um, I've added value, and if they hit that article, ping, I have them um, pixeled so that I can retarget them later. Uh, for us, it'll be Facebook. Um, obviously, we could also use LinkedIn, but I'm not sure LinkedIn does retargeting yet. All right, so I'm a little scared to hit send, making sure everything looks good. All right, so we are going to hit send and see what happens. I noticed you have a premium LinkedIn membership. Based on this, we recommend that you consider adjusting your limit for this feature to a maximum 50 to avoid detection by LinkedIn algorithms. Would you like to revise your activity before you proceed? Yes, I would, because I don't want to be in LinkedIn jail. I would prefer to stay on the low side anyway. I mean, there's only 1,000. That's, I'm sorry, 1,100. So we're, gonna, we're talking 22 days. So let's do it, and what I really like is that it did just warn me. So instead of letting me just fall, okay, I thought I just did that. Based on, we recommend that you consider adjusting your limit. I thought it did. To 50. I get 49. Is that the number it's talking about? Ah! Oh, wait, did it do it? Is it going to sit here and do it manually for each one? Do I leave it open? <gasps> that does it for me. I'm kind of excited, guys. And it like counts down. <gasps> oh, so that's so LinkedIn doesn't know it's a bot. Nice. All right, so I'm kind of liking that. That's where I want to kind of see is if I go back, it will still be working. It is. Okay. So I guess I can click away. I'm a little concerned if I click away. So let's go over here. I don't know what this is. Is this all my connections? Yes. Okay. So that's more on the technical side. What is this? Oh, that's telling me how to do things. Okay, let's try a different window. So that is the automatic connect. This was taking me so much time. This this is exciting. I can put my sales team on this. And we could I wonder if we could run it. Do we need another account to run it? We should. So this is where I would actually want to have more than one um, of these plans and buy more, like you know, two and three and four and one for each of my sales team. Um, because if I think this is this had a limit, right? If you stacked it of 200 and if not 100, and it's just telling me now it only wants to do 50, which is fine, but then if I wanted to go do someone else's account, so my sales team, her be doing a very similar message with the same article or um, uh, competing, not competing article, complementary article. So the one we did was social media, but then doing one that's a comprehensive customer value strategy um, like Digital Marketer does, 
Um, this makes me happy because this is how we start to build our lead list too. And I believe it said I could download it. So I'll be honest, $50, boom, right there, done. That just made me the happiest camper in the world because this, when we go to Target cold leads, this is how we start and it is incredibly time consuming and I've been hiring virtual assistants to do this for me manually. Um, and I know if you don't have a paid LinkedIn account, um, I don't know that I would necessarily advise this. I know we currently have, um, I would consider it like an older one, like a premium gold plan. Um, I bet I'm wondering if Sales Navigator would be better or not. I'll have to research that out. Um, but so far just, oh my gosh, just on this, this makes me happy. So let's go over here and see what else we can do. Oh, I didn't click the link then. I'm so used to using Safari and it just fills in what I need. All right. Um, I don't know what I want to play with. Okay, so it said I had notifications. I wonder what that is. Oh, look, here's that tutorial thing. I could have found it here. We have support. Um, visit. Visit profiles from search results. You know, I don't really have a... Um, this is not something that's necessarily in... Um, a cohesive customer value journey for us. Like I, I'm not positive of how I would use, um, is it 500? Let's go back and look. Y'all can hear the whistling. That is the wind outside my window. So I have 400 day auto profile visits. So now this one's a little bit more tame where it's just slight little ping on people. Um, Oops, let me go back to Chrome. I'm going to go owners. Owner and people. This is super vague. 14 million results. Um, but I'm bum. What I would find here. So with that, we're going to go filter. Let cancel. We have several attorney clients, people. Narrowed it down by half, down to just, you know, near 800,000. Let's filter it again. We'll go partner. See if that will work. Button it down a little bit. Now let's see what it tells me about this. 400. That is not... Let's see if we can filter it even more. Um, let's go United States. Why don't we pick a company? And let's choose second. Okay, that's about two days worth right there. So that's a good one. Just using the second connections and partners, specifically partners since for us, they, um, they do better. And we're gonna say visit. Select tag. This is where I don't have a tag. Okay. okay. This part will get a little, I feel like that this might be good though because then you don't just add random tags. All right, where did I find that? Um, is it my account? Tags. Uh, add, let me see. Attorney. I could be more specific, maybe later. Save. I keep on wanting the save button to be on the outside and not the exit button. I'll work around it. So here we go. Nope, it's gonna make me reset. Refresh. All right, so I have my 712. Have all that stuff. Visit. We want the attorney. Um. Hmm, big fan of CSVs. I can do stuff with that. Let's go ahead and start there. Okay, what do we have here? I noticed you have a premium LinkedIn membership. Based on this, we recommend that you consider adjusting your limit for this feature to a maximum of 100 to avoid detection from the algorithms. Would you like to revise? Um, yes, I'll review. So they're saying 100. And I saw it didn't really like the number 100. 
So we're actually going to go down to 90... Ah! Nine. There you go. Start. And voila! Okay, let me go review. So this is... Was that? No, that's a day. So it says you can do up to 400 a day. But the limitation then becomes your LinkedIn to make sure you're not going to go to jail. So... Given that, and I am not... I'm just not sure the the enterprise level what the difference is there. Like, if you it's only recommending I do 500 auto invites a day, then I have no need for 200. It's only recommending 100 auto profile visits a day, so you certainly don't need 400 even or even 500. Now I'm guessing that would be different if I changed my LinkedIn plan. So currently I have the premium gold, whatever it is. Um, I guess if I had Navigator maybe or another one, it would be different. So I'm wondering if um, Leonard here has some information on that. Um, so this is just going through and visiting people. That's, that's pretty cool. And I've got messages. I had those before though. didn't go to my messages. So that's okay. I don't want to stop doing what it's doing. All right. So that's some of, you can see where we were doing that already and getting responses by hand. So that will save us a lot of time because not only were we sending it out, um, Okay, cool. I like where this is going. I definitely want to explore more. If we can pick out, see what else we can do. So we did visit and connecting, feature under relevant. So we don't actually worry about posts because we, I mean, we do social media management across all platforms for other people. And so we have eClincher, um, which does a great job. Oh, okay, it jumps across, I think, whenever it's working. I wonder if it can run simultaneous processes like over here search for oh you know what let's do turn it again So I'm trying to see if it is both connecting and sending messages at the same time. I don't really know. This kind of thing that almost makes you think that if I need to buy like a little bitty subcomputer to run this all the time in the background. Stop Leonard. Hmm. Right, so I have visiting going. Connecting. Messages. How many messages? Select a message. So I guess you could have predetermined ones. Those are in your settings. and send to specific people. That would be interesting to create a client database. And so every time you wrote a new blog post or a new LinkedIn article to um, let them know that you wrote that. That would be kind of really cool, especially clients. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still trying to figure out if it can run multiple, for it can only work at one thing at a time. It makes me think that this is something I wanna do maybe at night before bed and just set it and let it go through all night. I think it still works, like if I click on my network, let's click a few of these, oops, I don't wanna to talk to that right now. 
crypto coach lead. All right, and then if I go back, I wish there was a way to see what it's doing. It says it's going, so I'm going to take that it's going. I'm going to accept that I need to learn a lot more about it, but right off the bat, like if you do any kind of business to business, um, any of the marketers out there, um, gosh, I mean, so much of the, the, the commercial real estate professionals, I would highly recommend this. And if you're a recruiter, like this is a give me, um, and at $49 for a lifetime license, even with the limitations, I like that the limitations really are greater than that that LinkedIn puts on you. And I'm positive that um, if you do not have a paid LinkedIn account that you are going to get tossed in LinkedIn jail if you are not careful. But I'd be willing to bet the program looks at the account that you have and would make that adjustment and tell you how many you should do. Um, definitely, if anybody in the B2B arena, I find this to be a no-brainer. If you are in the business-to-consumer um, arena and you are looking for business partners, I think this would be outstanding. Um, like if you were just trying to connect to other people who might know people who use your product and to do, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Media outreach. So if you were trying to connect to people who are like at Forbes or Entrepreneur or Cosmopolitan, um, this seems like another great way that you could reach out to them. Um, and again, like, I mean, I'm an AppSumo junkie, don't get me wrong, but given that I had a friend who's paying $1,500 a year for this, Another one was $15. Um, even if I have to sit here and spend another hour figuring it out or write, and I should do that and test out support, I think this really is a no-brainer. So um, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to paste this up in YouTube. Don't hesitate to ask. And as I figure it out and my team figures out, we will uh, we'll work that out. Um, if you would like some of the scripts that we use, shameless plug here, um, you can go to businessgrowthnetwork.org slash, I think VC will get you on the list. Um, but I think BGN, BGN Insider um, and get signed up with the Business Growth Network for $17 a month. I will share with you all the scripts that we're using um, and the different programs that we're using in addition to a bunch of training we offer. So um, again, I think this is definitely a little buy. This is like a five taco, great job, AppSumo. I'm so tired of seeing the social media posting just program after program after program. Um, it's about time we had some more implementation in the house, especially with LinkedIn. I'm very excited. Um, like I said, ask me questions below in the comments, um, and I look forward to being able to answer them or somebody from my team will that um, I make dive down in here. All right. Bye, guys, and um, subscribe, ask questions, and um, show some love. Bye, guys.